nearly three days of stalemate within Congress, the government began full operations on Monday night. Sure did. Members of Congress passed a bill to extend government funding through February 8th. News 2's Mason McLeod spoke to Congressman Mark Sanford today one-on-one -on -one about the details of the government shutdown and how our elected officials can prevent this from happening again. Well, guys, Representative Mark Sanford came to our studio right after he arrived back from Washington this afternoon. I asked him to explain the frustration felt inside the House during this budget debate and government shutdown. You know, it's, it's what I think people find most uh, exasperating about government. Mm -hmm. About, you know, you think about your family budget, you think about business budget. You don't wait until the 11th hour. I mean, it's almost like a college student waiting to cram on the night before. He says this proves a flaw in the budgeting system. You know, if you look over the last roughly 40 years, only four times have, have House and Senate completed what's called the appropriation process. In other words, really run their budget all the way through. That's, that's an indictment on process. He says what happens too often is instead of passing a complete budget, Congress passes a series of continuing resolutions, which fund the government for a short amount of time. So we've had four continuing resolutions, one after another, after another, after another, and that's a disastrous way to fund our federal government. It has real implications in terms of military. It doesn't allow them to really plan for the different things they have to plan for. It doesn't allow any agency to plan as you would want, because if your window is one month long, that's not much of a planning window, and that's what's happening with government right now. Sanford sits on the budget committee and says budget process reform is going to be a focus this year. There's actual contemplation and conversation in the U.S. Congress this year about not even doing a budget at all given the breakdown that we see in the process. I think that that would be a real mistake. I think the House will produce a budget, but if the Senate simply deems a budget, what we have is more of the same. Sanford tells me legislators have 17 days to address immigration issues surrounding DACA and finalize a budget before running into these same problems again in early February. Macy McLeod, count on two. Thank you, Macy.